Well, good evening. It's a warm night up here in the attic. <laughs> they had a rental call. Their air conditioning wouldn't come on today, and uh, it wouldn't move any air. The outside unit would run, but uh, was not blowing any air whatsoever. So as you can see, I'm up here in this nice attic, along with the heat, because um, I waited till nine o'clock at night, so it's not quite as bad. So uh, what I want to make this quick little video about is just the fact of ha having the proper tools. How having a a, a good tool can save you money. In fact, this, and this one tool now, this is a, it's an expensive tool, this SC440 field piece. I've been using it for several years now. Now, I really love it for what it does for me, especially when you're dealing with, you know, electric, electrical stuff, heat pumps, motors, things of that nature, little air conditioners, because you can measure inrush current, lock, you can measure lock rotor amps. You can determine for sure if you got a good or bad compressor. Uh, also, it's got, of course, there's measurements for your checking the capacitor. So when I came up here, I, I had the I called the renter while I was I was up in the attic. And I told her to flip on the fan, and she did. I heard it humming, so I reached in here with my hand very carefully, spun the wheel, and the motor started spinning, and it sounded fine. So I suspected it was a bad capacitor. So here's the original capacitor I pulled out, and you see here it should be 7.5 UF, and I put on my meter, and we got nothing. So I got got me another one right here, and I'll show you the difference. Connected here with one hand. Always working with one hand, aren't I? Okay, now we got 7.8. Alright, so we're in good shape. So I'm going to put this capacitor on here and I bet you a dollar it'll work. Okay, you see the new capacitor is installed. Let's put the breaker on. There we go. That's fixed. So now with because I had this proper tool and I could quickly diagnose it and replace the part, uh, I didn't have to call, make a service call. So imagine if you if you didn't have a tool like this and you made a service call to a tech, come out here and pay your service call, put in the capacitor. If he just put in the capacitor, you, you know, that's another thing. You never know. There's some techs out there that may want to sell you a whole new motor. May maybe cost you $500. How are you going to know? You know, you just have to take the word for it, you know. I think most techs are honest, but you know, you hear nightmare stories out there, things like that. So, uh, anyway, just a quick little video of uh, buying a good tool and it'll pay for itself pretty easy. So, now I've got this project done, I'll button it up and I'll go back to the house. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Bye. Okay, I got a PS for you. I got to think about when I got home. I, I wanted to point this out to you. You may say to yourself, well, I don't know how to operate a meter. I've never used a meter. I said, oh, that's no excuse. You know, go ahead and spend the money, get you a good meter, and then you can learn how to operate it. So I just did an experiment. I went into YouTube, put in, you know, field piece, SV40, how to use, and there's all these videos. So that way you get yourself educated. You learn how to check AC, DC, capacitors, you know, uh, your compressor, you know. And so that way you can save yourself a bunch of money, pay for itself real easy. So anyways, I hope you found this information good and useful and have yourself a blessed day. See you, bye.